Hi there everybody, time now for a brand new video in which today I'm going to be doing the 2021 edition of my VHS collection. So in part one, this part, we're going to be doing the clamshell tapes. This is actually my third time recording this video. The first time I did not like how it went, how it turned out, and the second time my iPad storage was full so I had to delete some storage and now we're here and we're going to do it for the third time and so yeah so we have uh, some clamshells to go f uh, to show and we're going to go ahead and not waste any time and get started here the first one I want to show you is the 999 VH VHS of the Rugrats movie which is a 998 movie based on the Nickelodeon series of the same name. The full length hit movie, A Delight says the New York Times, and there is a cat dog bonus short at the, end of the, t at the beginning of the tape after the previews. Hang on to your diapies. An award winner, fun and frolic for the whole family says Film Advisory Board Inc. Co-produced by Nickelodeon Movies and Klasky Chupo. Rated G and it's 81 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. You can't see it there. It's a bit, you know, unfocused. You can't really see it, but it's the 14th. The week in your code is the 14th week of 999. And for this collection video, I'm actually... I actually wrote down the openings to these tapes, so I'm going to share them with you right now. So let's start with the Rugrats movie right here. It has the, uh, it starts out with the now available on video cassette bumper. Then it has a promo for Rugrats videos. Then it has pro a promo for Blue's Clues videos. Then a uh, promo for Little Bear videos. Then a promo for Peanuts videos. Yep. And then after that is the cat dog bonus short bumper, like the introduction, the in, the introduction bumper to it. And then it actually plays the full cat dog intro before the short begins. Then the short, and then after the short ends is the a bumper that promotes cat dog videos. Then the Paramount feature presentation bumper, the warning screen, format screen. The, Nick, uh, the Paramount Pictures logo, the Nickelodeon Movies logo, then, then the start of the film. And at the end, it has the Klasky Chupo logo, then the Paramount logo. And that's the end of the tape at the end of the movie. Next is the sequel, the 2001 VHS of Rugrats in Paris, the movie, which is a 2000 film. The full-length hit movie, thumbs up, bright, funny, says Roger Ebert, Ebert and Roper, and the movies. Features the voices of Susan Sarandon and John Lithgow. I can't read the first sentence of this because it's French and I'm not a native French speaker. I'm from America, so I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to read the rest of this for you. Rugrats in Paris, the movie, is perfect for the whole family. I loved it, says Sandy Newton, CBS TV. Come on, focus. Rated G and it's 78 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And it's printed on the fourth week of 2001. Again, you can't really see it because the orange tape, it's very hard to see, very bright. So this tape opens with the Coming to Theaters bumper, then a preview, the trailer for Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. And then after that is the now available on video cassette bumper, then it has a promo for Peanuts videos, then the coming to video cassette bumper, then it has a promo for uh, Nick Jr. videos, which include Blue's Clues, Dora the Explorer, Little Bill, yeah, and I think maybe Little Bear. Then after that has a preview for the Little Bear movie. Then after that is the preview for Rugrats Decade in Diapers. 
And then the special presentation after the movie bumper, which I believe is the music video for Who Let the Dogs Out by Baja Men. And then after that is the Paramount feature presentation bumper, the warning screen, format screen, the Paramount Pictures logo, the Night Side 9 version where it's enhanced, then the Nickelodeon Movies logo, then the start of the film. And then at the end it has the Klasky Chupo logo, the Paramount logo, and I think it has the music video that I just mentioned. I've seen the first Rugrats movie, and that's a great movie from my childhood. However, I haven't seen the second movie, and I've had that tape since 2014. I don't know why I haven't watched it yet, but I'll try and watch it soon. Uh, let you know what I think. Next one is the Night Size 6 VHS of Toy Story, which is a Night Size 5 movie that needs no introduction, and it was the debut of Pixar Animation Studios. Miraculous is Entertainment Weekly, Four Star Supercharged, says USA Today, and it features, of course, the voices of Tom Hanks and Tim Allen as Woody and Buzz, respectively. Rated G, and it's 81 minutes. Here's the tape with the uh, ink label. Put it on September 3rd, 1996. This tape opens with the green FBI warning screens. Hold on, I'm trying to make it focus here. Okay, I think this is a... Yeah, there we go. So it opens with the green FBI warning screens, then the Walt Disney Company intro, followed by a Walt Disney World promo, then the join us for a special preview from Walt Disney Pictures bumper, then the trailers for 101 Dalmatians and Hercules, then the From Disney Interactive bumper, and it promotes... Disney Animated Storybook Toy Story, Toy Story Activity Center, both of those are for PC, and the Toy Story video game for the port for PC, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis, then the On ABC bumper, and it has a promo for uh, ABC Saturday Morning with the Mighty Ducks animated series, Gargoyles, The Goliath Chronicles, and the Disney revival of Doug, which was called on this tape, Brand Spanking New Doug. Then the coming to video bumper. Then it has previews for Bambi and the, Hunch the Hunchback of Notre Dame and Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Then the Lilac Blue feature presentation uh, logo, but with the debut of the Bo Weaver version, which Bo Weaver says, "Thanks for joining us for the special preview." And now for our fe and now our feature presentation. Uh, this was the first tape to use that version of the uh, feature presentation logo. And then it goes to the 992 Gold Walt Disney Home Video logo. Then the f green format screen. The Pixar version of the Walt Disney Pictures logo. Then the start of the film. Next is the 2000 VHS of Tarzan. Which is a 1999 movie. And the final film in the Disney Renaissance. Of course, having the voice talents of Tony Goldwyn, Minnie Driver, and Rosie O'Donnell. THX certified. Tarzan is smart, pure, and funny. A triumph, says Time. An impressive cargo of laughs, frills, and wonders, says Newsweek. It also has uh, Glenn Close is in the movie, too. I forgot about that. Then it has here bonus features. Phil Collins, Trash in the Camp, recording session with special guest. That's In Sync. In Sync is the special guest. Then the also the exclusive new Strangers Like Me music video. Then, and a pristine THX certified picture from the highest quality digital to digital master transfer to date. Rated G and it's 81 minutes. Here's the dark sticker label. Very early pressing from November 23rd, 1999. And to save some time, I'm not going to be going for the inserts in this video. But if you want to check last year's video, it's going to be still up on the channel. I go through the inserts in that video. So if you want to go see them, definitely go ahead and check out that those videos. And this tape opens with the... Um, it opens with the green FBI warning screens, the late 90s version. Then the 1992 gold Walt Disney Home Video logo. Then the Walt Disney Company intro, which is one of... This is one of the last tapes to use the Walt Disney Company intro. Along with the coming to video and Disney DVD bumper. Then it has previews for 
an extremely goofy movie, Toy Story 2 and The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. It has the More Excitement from Disney bumper, which is a film reel bumper that's really rare and it's exclusive to this tape. Uh, then the promo for Geppetto, which was a made-for-TV movie uh, made by Disney for ABC, which stars Drew Carey, who's the current host of The Price is Right. Then it has the Toy Story, no, not the Toy Story, the Tarzan Activity Center promo. Then the promo for Walt, Dis- Walt Disney World 2000. Then the Disney.com promo. Then the, tar- then the Dinosaur sneak peek, which is the first five to six minutes of the movie, but it's repurposed as a trailer. Then the Join Us After the Feature bumper for the recording session and the Strangers Like Me music video. Then the Film reel feature presentation bumper, which is the first tape to use. This is the first tape to use it, as far as I'm concerned. Either this one or Toy Story from the Gold Classic Collection. But this is a little bit different because it has the. It has Bo Weaver saying, and now our feature presentation, rather than Brian Cummings. The Brian Cummings version wouldn't debut until after this tape was released. Then the green format screen, the THX logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, then the start of the film. After the film has the cut short, uh, 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo with the end of um, the uh, uh, the song Two Worlds by Phil Collins, which is from the movie. Then it has the Tarzan soundtrack promo, and then it has the um, then it has the Strangers Like Me music video, and then the trashing the camp recording session. Excuse me. Next one is the 1992 VHS of 101 Dalmatians, which is a 1961 Disney film. And this is the only Walt Disney Classics tape that I have. I don't know why I don't have any more, but I'm planning on getting more soon. Although I'm more focused on collecting the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection tapes. That collection. But I'm still going to get some Classics tapes eventually. Great storytelling. On a scale from on a scale of one to ten, this film gets 101. Says Good Morning America, rated G, and it's I think 79 minutes. I think that's what it says. Yep, 79 minutes. We focus in on here so you can see the back a little bit better with the artwork. Here's the tape with the uh, ink label. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can now. This is printed on the. I uh, put it on March twenty ninth, nineteen ninety two. This opens with the green FBI warning screens, then the coming only to movie theaters this ninth night two holiday season bumper. Then it has a trailer for Aladdin, which is mostly behind the scenes footage, because the film was not finished at the time. Then, this is the first tape to use the Lilac Blue feature presentation logo, but this is the more common Mark Elliott version where he says, And now, our feature presentation. Then, the 1992 Clean Walt Disney Classics logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, then the start of the film. After the movie, it has the Buena Vista logo with the remix of the 1986 Sorcerer Mickey Walt Disney Home Video logo, the remix of that little jingle. With Mark Elliott saying, Stay tuned for a preview for two new Disney classics. When it said, then there's a bumper that has the first part, the Walt Disney part of the 1986 Walt Disney Home Video uh, logo. Then in the lilac blue feature presentation text, it says coming coming to home video and then coming on video cassette this summer. Then it has a preview for the Great Mouse Detective, and then after that, the same screen comes up, but it now it now says. Um, Coming this fall to home video, then has a preview for Beauty and the Beast, and then that's the end of the tape. Hydro One Dalmatians is a great movie. Tarzan's a great movie too. Although I only have like good movies in this collection, so I'm probably not gonna repeat myself too much by saying that, that those kinds of stuff. Next one is the 1995 VHS of Angels in the Outfield, which is a 1994 movie starring Danny Glover, Tony Danza, and Christopher Lloyd. It also stars Brenda Frickner and Ben Johnson. It also has a young Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There's him right there. 
A flat out wonderful movie, says Gene Shout of the Today Show. Funny and irresistible. A dream of a hit, says Movie Minute. This is co-produced by Caravan Pictures. Rated PG and it's 103 minutes. Inserts, let me get them out of the way. Again, I, I'm not showing them in this video. Here's the tape with the ink label. Put it on February 20... February... February let me read that. What does it say? I believe it says February 6th, 1995. Yep. This has the green FBI warning screens and the 1992 Gold Wolf Disney Home Video logo, but this time it's the blue background version. The tapes I've shown you before that has this logo have been all on black background, the more common black background, but this is the one, one of the ones that has the blue background. Then the um, coming soon to own on video cassette bumper. Then it has previews for Aladdin the King of Thieves, which has its original release date of fall 1995, but it got pushed to the summer of 1996, as we all know. Then a preview for the Masterpiece Collection uh, VHS of Cinderella. Then the now available to own on video cassette bumper, and it has a preview for Muppet Classic Theater. Then the Flash Bang feature presentation uh, logo bumper logo. Because the other bumpers on this tape also use the flashbang bumpers. Uh, and then after that is the green format screen, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, then the Caravan Pictures logo, then the start of the film. Angels in the Outfield is a pretty good movie too. I really enjoy it. It's a childhood favorite. Next one I have here is the 1997 VHS of Bambi, which is a 1942 Disney animated film. This is the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection Edition, fully restored, 55th Anniversary Limited Edition, THX certified. A perennial classic, remembered long after other movies have been forgotten, says Roger Ebert, Chicago Sometimes. Filled with laughter and inspired animation, says Time Magazine. This was nominated, for, yeah, it was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song, Love Is a Song. And also uh, is, was nominated for Best Scoring of a Dramatic Motion Picture and Best Sound Recording. Rated G and it's 69 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label. Very early pressing from December 16th, 1996. As you can see... I don't know if you can see it right there, but there's a little crack in the case right there. But it's not too much of a deal. And it does come with the commemorative booklet, which I showed you in the last time I uh, did this collection video. Okay, the opening is the opening is right here, and it opens with the uh, green FBI warning screens, then the Walt Disney Company intro, followed by the join us for a special preview from Walt Disney Pictures bumper. Then it has... A preview for Hercules, a more co a proper trailer for Hercules, which doesn't, which contains stuff in the movie. Then a teaser trailer from the jung for George of the Jungle. Then they come into video bumper and has previews for the Hunchback of Notre Dame and Honey We Shrunk Ourselves. Then the um, uh, Disney animated storybook, the Hunchback of Notre Dame promo. Then they join us after the feature bumper for the making of Bambi, the Lilac Blue feature presentation bumper with uh, Bo Weaver, the Bo Weaver version, version two, I should say. And then the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection uh, logo, the THX logo, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and the start of the film. At the end, it has the, I believe, the cut short, silent 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. And then the making of Bambi at the end, which is a making of documentary, which lasts about, I think, 16 to 17 minutes. So it's a pretty good documentary. Very in-depth, I should say. And now we're going to take a be, or now we're going to be taking a little uh, a break from Disney because the rest of these clamshells are from other studios. First one here is the 1997 VHS of Jingle All the Way, which is a 1996 movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
It also stars Sinbad, Phil Hartman, Rita Wilson, Robert Conrad, and Jim Belushi, as well as Jake Lloyd, who plays the uh, kid in this movie, who's also in Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace. He plays Anakin Skywalker in that film. Nonstop fun, says the Kids News Network. Not yeah, the kids, the Kids Network, not the Kids News Network, the Kids Network. Turbo Pack with lots of laughs for the entire family. You'll love this film, says Elaine Blythe, Film Advisory Board. And the best holiday film in years, says Don Stoddard, Entertainment Timeout. This is co-produced by 1492 Pictures. Let me focus on the case a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. Rated PG and it's 85 minutes. Here's the tape <clears throat> with the sticker label. Printed on the 33rd week of 1997. This has the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo and the theatrical preview bumper. Then it has a uh, trailer for Anastasia. Then the home video preview bumper. And it has trailers for Fern Gully 2, The Magical Rescue, and the Deke version of A Christmas Carol. Then the 1996 Fox Video logo, the format screen, the 20th Century Fox logo, the 1492 Pictures logo, then the start of the film. At the end of the film, it has the, you know, the post credit scene, which I'm not going to go into detail about because it's, you know, it involves spoilers. And after that is the FBI warning. Next one we have here is the 1994 VHS of Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, which is a 1993 movie based on the... Batman animated series produced by Warner Brothers Family Entertainment. Gotham City's Savior, the, may, the way he was meant to be, says Steve Persale of St. Petersburg Times. One of the most imaginative, t- uh, one of the most imaginative films of the past year, says Chuck Rich of Westwood One. A mystery that is genuinely absorbing, suspenseful, suspenseful and moving, says Cincinnati Inquirer. This features the voice talents of Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill, Dana Delaney, Hart Borch, Bochner, Abe v- and Abe Vigoda. Rated PG for animated violence and it's 77 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And there's no print date. Uh, this the the reason why is because this uh, has a this tape opens with a preview for Fumbelina, and then after that is the Canadian warning screen. Yep, the Canadian warning screen. You can also tell it's a Canadian copy by the way they spell color. They add a U in the word color. After the Canadian warning screens is the Cheesy Shield Warner Home Video logo, with the Time Warner Entertainment byline, then the Warner Brothers Family Entertainment logo from the start of the film. Um, next one we have here is the 1996 VHS of Jumanji, which is a 1995 movie starring the late, great Robin Williams. It also stars Kirsten Dunst, David Allen Greer, Bonnie Hunt, Jonathan, Jonathan Hyde, and Bebe Newer. It also stars Bradley Pierce. An exciting, thrilling Adventure the whole family will love, says Barry Crutchnick of Premier Radio Network. This is a TriStar Pictures movie, as you can see right there. An adventure ride for the entire family. Edge of your seat excitement, says Jim Ferguson Preview Channel. Rated PG, and it's 104 minutes. Here's the tip with the sticker label. Printed on the 13th week of 1996. This has the Columbia TriStar Home Video logo, the Take Hollywood Home one, not the regular 1993 logo. It has the Take Hollywood Home one. And then after that is the Sony Maximum Television commercial. 
than the coming soon to a theater near you bumper and a trailer for Fly Away Home, which is actually under its original title of Flying Wild. They changed the title of this movie after the tape was released. So the film is actually called Fly Away Home. And I'll be showing that in a moment. Then there's a trailer for Matilda and a trailer for Alaska. Then it has a preview, a promo for the Jumanji animated series that will be premiering in fall 1996 on UPN. Then the Coming Soon to Home video bumper. Then it has the Columbia TriStar Family Collection uh, promo. Then the FBI warning screen. Then there's a 10 second black screen of nothing. I assume this is where the surround sound logo, which is seen on the back here, was supposed to be placed but I guess the logo was not finished in time so they had to add a they had to keep the 10 second black screen and then after the black screen is over has the format screen the TriStar Pictures logo and the start of the film Jumanji is a very good movie uh, I don't like any of the two sequels they made well welcome to the jungle and the next level I really do not care for those movies whatsoever I know I'm in the minority on that but I really don't like those movies Batman Master of the Phantasm, that's a great movie. Uh, Jingle All the Way is a guilty pleasure of mine. I watch it almost every holiday season. And Bambi, believe it or not, I haven't seen the whole thing of. But I'll get to it soon. Next one is the 1995 VHS of The Indian in the Cupboard, which is a also a 1995 movie. With I don't know, you're not able to see this, but it has Hal Scordino, Lightfoot, Lindsey Krauss, Richard Jenkins... Rasheed Bat and David Keefe. Free magic, free Indian cupboard and key included. This did not come with the Indian or the key, but the uh, cupboard is the reversible artwork. From the club, this is from the Columbia TriStar Family Collection. Columbia Pictures movie co-produced by Paramount Pictures and the Kennedy Marshall Company, but Columbia owns the uh, home video rights here in America. Well. Paramount owns the home video rights in uh, other countries, but Paramount released the film theatrically here in the States, and Columbia did overseas. Magic says the Los Angeles Times. Every clamshell package contains the cupboard. Reverse the paper insert to transform the outer box into a cupboard. Indian, the key in the video cassette. Rated PG, and it's 98 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Printed on the, I don't know if you can see it, but it says the 49th week of 1995. This has the Columbia TriStar home video logo, the 1993 Columbia TriStar home video logo, and then follow, and then it has, and it also has transitions and in, transitions into the. Coming soon to home video bumper. It has a preview for Magic in the Water. And then after that is a preview for the Babysitter's Club movie, which is the movie from 1995. And then a preview for Annie, A Royal Adventure, which was a made-for-TV movie TriStar Television did back in 1995. I believe it aired on ABC. I think it aired on ABC. And then there's a preview for The Adventures of Milo and Otis. Then it has the Stay Tuned bumper for the Indian in the Cupboard collectibles offer. Then the FBI warning, the Hi-Fi Stereo logo, and it goes directly to the Columbia Pictures logo. There's no format screen on this tape. And then after that, after the at the end, it has the Kennedy Marshall Company logo, the released by Columbia Pictures logo. Then the uh, preview for the Jumanji. Not to Jumanji, the Indian in the Cupboard uh, collectibles, which is uh, the you can collect the it's a little like toys collectibles with the Indian, the cowboy, the cowboy's horse, and the medic that are all in the movie, and how to get them and such like that. And then the last tape for this part will be the 1990. It says it's from 1996, but this could be from 1997. I could be wrong. It's either from 1996 or 1997. Release of Fly Away Home, which is a 1996 movie with Jeff Daniels and Anna Paquin. It also stars Dana Delaney and Terry Kinney. Two thumbs up, way up, says Siskel and Ebert. Columbia Pictures movie. Soaring, a hymn to the human spirits, says Richard Schickel of Time Magazine. Rated PG and it's 
approximately 107 minutes. Here's the tape. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Put it on the... You can, you can barely see it, so I'm going to try and read it off myself. It's put on the 50th week of Night Size 6. I did not check the opening to this tape before I did this video, so... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't give you the full previews on this tape, but I know for certain there's a preview for Buddy at the, at the beginning, but I can't remember what else is on. It also has the um, Columbia TriStar Take Hollywood Home logo before the previews. And that's going to do it for the first part of this VHS collection video. Stay tuned for part two, which will come either later tonight or as you're watching, as you're watching this video, either later tonight or tomorrow. So we'll see what happens about that. But otherwise, stay tuned for part two, won't you?